This has been everywhere on my TikTok. The paid ads on this one was a bit cray cray disappearing on my skin. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. I've been dying to try out this new release. It's the Maybelline Superstay Hybrid Powder Foundation. Now I have tried a few powder foundations before and some of them look bomb, but I wouldn't say it's like my favorite kind of foundation base. I have the shade 48. It says Jaund in the back. I don't know if that's the shade name. I must say I'm not too impressed by the shade selection there's just not much there so it definitely needs improvement i don't know if it's because maybe like a powder foundation is not for everyone there wasn't a lot for me to choose from so i'm hoping this is going to be my shade it's looking a little light it's 11.99 so super affordable you can get it on tiktok shop but this was actually gifted as a sample so yeah let's just try this out i've already moisturized but when it comes to um powder foundations because i have really dry skin i need to like really prep my skin so i'm just going to use some of the elf jelly pop primer this stuff's really nice and hydrating the paid ads on this one was a bit cray cray to be honest in every single like video i saw the end result just looked bomb it looks like it's my shade because it's literally disappearing on my skin it comes with a sponge but i'm not going to use that I like to use a nice buffing foundation brush. I'm just gonna pack the product up like this, tap off the excess, and we're just gonna buff this in. It's definitely hiding my blemishes. Now, the shade is, it's okay. I can't put too much, a little bit light for me. It's not too bad, it's wearable. Once I do my bronze and everything, it's gonna work out. I'm actually quite impressed at how it's sitting on my skin like it's not drying my skin out or anything and it doesn't look it does, just doesn't look cakey or anything it just looks like skin yeah, it feels really good too i'm not too mad at that i'm not gonna lie let's do the other side i know that the shade above this is too dark for me but i'm just going to apply the rest of my makeup like i usually do and i'll be right back all right guys this is what the face is looking like overall it looks pretty good I, I would just say that the shade is not there for me because it's slightly it's just a little bit ashy around my mouth area which i can easily fix with some corrector and just you know a bit of maybe like a warmer foundation around my mouth it's overall it's okay like the bronzer helped to balance the shade out and everything built up pretty well on top of the powder itself even though i have dry skin this feels like nothing i just don't know if this would be my go-to because it's not my kind of go-to foundation base um that i would usually go for like my go-to is liquid i think if you have really oily skin or combo skin i think this would be really good on the website it does say that it gives a soft matte look up to 24 hours of medium to full matte coverage i definitely say it's medium to full coverage uh, weightless i agree it resists sweat water and transfer no caking and no patchiness no transfer like i said it feels like nothing so i definitely agree with the no cakiness no patchiness even the no transfer like there's nothing coming on my fingers i don't know what do i have i don't i think it's the shade range that's bugging me i feel like i fall between two shades the 48 and the one above it i just really like how like it feels like nothing on my skin literally looks like my skin okay so i'm gonna put this to the test i'm gonna wear this for a few hours i'm not gonna lie i'm filming a little bit late today it's just about 2 50 pm i'm gonna wear this for a bit until late later tonight so we can just see how this sits throughout the day day slash evening but overall I, I would probably give it a six seven out of ten that's just based on the shade range and just my preference towards more liquid foundations rather than powder foundations does it deserve the hype that's the question i think given the way my skin looks right now i think it does i think it does it doesn't look bad at all so yeah let's just see how this looks after a few hours and i'd like to note there's no smile lines yet so that's a plus all right i'll see you guys later guys i'm back it's now 9 15 pm i just had um fried chicken this foundation has not budged like at all I mean, it looks pretty good. The only thing I would say is ever so slight smile lines, but nothing that bothers me. I think this foundation has good lasting power for sure. It's, it definitely passed that test. I think for me, like I said, it's only the, the shade range and would I use it again? I think I would, like it feels really lightweight. 
But if anything, I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. I know you guys wanted me to try it out and see if it's worth it or not. And I think it does deserve its hype. It's pretty good. I, c I feel so comfortable in this. If you can find your shade, then go for it. If not, then there's so many other like drugstore foundations out there that you can grab especially from Maybelline too, so. I think what shook me the most is that I have dry skin and this sits beautifully on my skin, so. I would give it a, yeah, like I said, six, seven out of 10. Let me know what you guys think. Give this video a thumbs up if you found it helpful. I'll do a quick close up for you guys, as always. But yeah, that's it from me, guys. I'm gonna go to bed, I'm exhausted. I did quite a bit today. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching and I see you in my next video. Bye.